diffusion pressure deficit. In short, we call it as DPD or suction pressure, that is SP. Every liquid has a definite diffusion pressure. The diffusion pressure of pure solvent is always more than that of its solution. The amount of force by which the diffusion pressure of a solution is lower than that of its solvent is called diffusion pressure deficit or you can call it as DPD. And here you can see diffusion pressure deficit is the index of absorbing power of a solution. It is also called as suction pressure. As water enters into the cell, the turgor pressure of the cell is increased. As a result of increase in turgor pressure, the wall pressure of the cell is also increased and it is of equal magnitude but of course in opposite direction. Therefore, the actual force responsible for entry of water into the cell will be O, that is osmotic pressure, wall pressure that is DPD. You can call it a suction pressure is equal to OP minus WP and as WP that is the wall pressure is equal to DP so it can be DPD is equal to OP osmotic pressure minus TP that is turbulent pressure. Thus DPD will be equal to OP of the cell and the water will enter the cell with a force equal to the OP of the cell. In a turgid cell value of osmotic pressure equal to turbulent pressure that is DPD is equal to OP minus W minus wall pressure and that comes to BPD equal to zero. Thus there will be no absorption of water by the cell in a fully turgid cell. Concept of water potential and you know it is represented by a Greek sign psi. The difference between the free energy of the water molecule in pure water and energy of water in any other system for example, water in a solution or in a plant cell. It is termed as water potential, which is represented by a Greek letter psi and is measured in bars. That is a pressure unit and that is equal to 14.5 pound per inch square. That is 750 mmHg or 0.987 atmosphere. Psi W, that is water potential, is equal to psi m metric potential plus psi s solute potential plus psi p that is pressure potential. The water potential is determined by three major sets of internal factors. First is metric potential that is psi m. The metric potential is the component of water potential influenced by the presence of matrix. The metric potential is often disregarded because it is not significant in osmosis. Metric potential, that is psi m, is significant in case of dry seeds and young cells. However, in mature cells where cell walls are well hydrated, the metric potential is almost negligible. Psi w, that is water potential, is equal to psi s plus psi p, that is solute potential plus pressure potential. Solute potential, psi s also known as osmotic potential. It is defined as the amount by which the water potential is reduced as a result of the pressure of the solute. The term solute potential takes the place of osmotic pressure. It is expressed in bars with a negative sign. Next is pressure potential, psi p. Plant cell wall is elastic and it exerts a pressure on the cellular contents. The pressure potential is usually positive and operates in plant cells as wall pressure and turgor pressure. Psi W equal to Psi S that is solute potential plus Psi P pressure potential plus Psi G that is gravitational potential. Now gravity potential Psi G is the effect of gravitational force on the water potential. It depends upon the height of the water above the reference state that is H the density of water and acceleration due to gravity and that comes to psi g is equal to p w g h. The value of p w g is 0 0.01 megapascal that is 0 0.1 bar per meter. Therefore, g is negligible if the vertical distance is small. Imbibition. Imbibition is a phenomenon of adsorption. 
in case of imbibition the molecules of water or any other liquid which is called as imbibement are held in between or over the surface of solid substances that is imbibements through the process of capillarity or by the force of adsorption now here you can see a dry to point and after they have imbibed water they have become green imbibition pressure the pressure that an imbibement develops when submerged in pure imbibing liquid is called imbibition pressure the imbibition pressure old name has now been replaced by metric potential materials capable of imbibition such as proteins and cellulose in living beings cause seeds to swell when they are placed in water or wood to swell when immersed in water or air of high humidity